I call on stage uh, an accelerator. This gentleman is called Alex Fassett of Startup Bootcamp. Thank Here you. we go. Cheers. Welcome to Eagle Summit. New York Times, PwC, Microsoft, Nike, Turner Network, CNN, Shell, Coca-Cola, Red Bull, British Airways, Barclays, and closer to home, uh, Deutsche Telekom, Allianz, ProSieben, and our neighbors, Axel Springer. All of these companies, besides being global brands, are, have one thing in common, and they're running accelerators. Um, and it's a very interesting time. This is the footprint of Walmart uh, and the number of employees globally. So these companies have immense power beyond what some of our institutions have, yet they've never been so open um, towards innovation. And they're doing this through one of the models is this uh, semi-open uh, innovation through accelerators. Um, so I'm Alex Fassett. I founded Startup Bootcamp in 2010 in Copenhagen, and I moved to Berlin in 2012 because we had to be here. Um, and we're mostly privately funded, but we're beginning to work more and more with the corporates. And I'm going to give you a crash course on what we do, what acceleration is, and then I'll talk a little bit about what we're focusing on in Berlin, which is relevant to this, which is smart transportation energy. Uh, so for the crash course, this is an incubator. Incubators were made to protect premature babies and keep them nice and warm from the, from the environment. And this is an accelerator. And so the image we use is we're like the rocket booster on the shuttle, this very big tank of gas that has a very clear start and finish. It burns energy, and then it falls off, and hopefully the startups stay in orbit, don't come crashing down. So our job is to give them the best possible start and launch them into orbit. And the fuel is mentorship. Um, so I'll continue in my uh, kind of rapid pace. We, the, the, we have, uh, last year we had 400 applicants. As I said, the secret sauce is the mentors. We have 150 mentors just for Berlin, most of whom are serial entrepreneurs. Some are experts in certain fields, and they all volunteer their time to uh, mentor our startups because they think it's fun. They learn a lot. The good mentors tend to get out more than they put in. They network with each other, some invest, some invest in teams, it's just a, and it's also a form of giving back. We're very global. Um, we're not called Startup Bootcamp Germany or Startup Bootcamp Copenhagen. We're called Startup Bootcamp Berlin, Startup Bootcamp, uh, not Denmark, but Copenhagen. But most teams are international. So last year, 11 teams in Berlin, three were German, the rest came from all over the world. They have to fight to get in. Um, we have a kind of X-Factor weekend a month before the program with the top 20 teams, and this is what happens when they get in. We give, it's a dollar sign, it's euros, we give micro-funding, we call it pizza money. We never call ourselves investors. Uh, we want the teams to see us as very useful co-founders on their side of the table. Uh, but we do get equity, we take 8% equity in each startup that joins the program. So we do a lot of different formats for interacting between the teams and the startups between the mentors and the startups, one thing we know is we cannot predict which mentor will help which team. The first year I did a giant matrix of skills, B2B, uh, marketing, etc., and tried matchmaking. It doesn't work. Serendipity works, and the mentors bring two things. One is their experience. They can show their scars, all the mistakes they made as entrepreneurs, and the other is their connections. So the, the six degrees principle is extremely powerful, probably two or three degrees on LinkedIn, uh, we have a, an incredible door-opening ability for the, for, the, for the startups, which can be game-changing. So this, is, this was an example of speed dating that happens. Some mentors will go and do a deep dive on a certain topic. This was Gunnar, who was the, uh, Airbnb, uh, the MD of Airbnb and is now running Wundekar. But most mentorship happens like this, including the beer in the back. Uh, so it's a, an experienced, seasoned entrepreneur going deep, rolling up his sleeves, with, a, ment with a, a founder and saying, how can I help you? Um, and, and sharing expertise. We're very collaborative, so the teams have to fight to get in, but once they're in, we don't do a competition. I frequently asked, who's your best team? I never answer because the, different, the, the answer is always different depending on who is looking for what. Um, so we have visitors across programs. This was a, 
an Indian fellow from the Startup Bootcamp Amsterdam who came and visited a team in Berlin. They started coding together. And then we also are very community-oriented. And one of the staples of what we do is this Friday breakfast where each team stands up and shows their progress, which is a very subtle form of peer pressure because you, wanna, you, you, know, you see some teams really making amazing progress and you want to keep up. We also have a lot of fun. It's very intense. It is a boot camp. Um, and most teams that come through, especially the international ones, the ones that are not in Berlin, who get away from their social network and all of the fun stuff they can do away from their startup, are completely focused 24-7 for 90 days, and they say, we've never made so much progress. So our value proposition is, you'll make a year of progress in three months. So we conclude with a setting a little bit like this, demo day. Uh, this was at Umspannwerk last year, 500 people, over 200 investors, and each team gets their, uh, their uh, time on stage to basically showcase the progress they've made, and then we lock them up with investors with some alcohol and food, and they don't come out until they've signed. Um, that's not true. Um, usually it's just the first contact. So one of the reasons it works is because there's this deadline of in 87 days, there's going to be a room full of investors who came just for you. What are you going to show them? And then on the second day of the program, I go, there's 86 days, there's 85 days. And they get into this mode of never postponing, just getting going and, and, and moving fast. So more than anything, it's an opportunity uh, for founders. And the ones who use the opportunity, op opportunity well hit the ball out of the park. And we, we spend a lot of time coaching teams on how to exploit the mentorship opportunity, etc. And as far as I know, we're the only program in Europe who've published our results. So we've done over 130 startups. The average uh, raise is 400K in, in, in seed uh, funding and we have about an 80% survival rate so far, so quite a bit better than the average startup off the street. Um, and as we grow and our brand uh, improves, we, we, we attract better teams, and it's like a, a good wine. It gets better as, as it gets old. So just to bring us back to Berlin, last year we were supported by Mercedes-Benz and Bosch, and that's attracted some more partners this year. And so we're very lucky to have Cisco in here, which is the the Nokia part that is not Microsoft, so location-based services and mapping, Castrol Innoventures, Mercedes-Benz and Bosch are back, and ENBV, Michael is here from ENBV, uh, supporting us. And what we did is an exercise basically to figure out who's interested in what, you know, what are the overlaps. And transportation energy or smart mobility, whatever you call it, came up as a recurring theme. And I have a background in my previous life as a logistics in DHL, so it's very close to what I'm interested in. And we were just inspired by what, obviously, Elon Musk is doing with his SpaceX and Tesla, the Hyperloop, the connected vehicles are finally starting to happen, Amazon drone, uh, augmented reality as, as we connect, as we move. And then maybe closer to home, there's some very cool things happening in Berlin, in Germany, in Europe. InnoZ, those of you who know, is kind of a, an amazing playground where they're testing all sorts of fantastic uh, solutions for mobility. Um, and so we said, let's focus on this, uh, on this vertical. And so we're in the hunt for teams. Applications close uh, June 15th, and we're always looking out for one or two extra mentors who are really experts uh, in this. So if th some of you have the DNA to be a mentor, come and talk to me. We're very lucky to have kind of a waiting list of people who want to do it, but, but we, you know, we do accept people who have the right uh, attitude and expertise. Uh, we have a hackathon coming up June 13th, 14th, 15th. We've already got over 50 hackers signed up, um, and it's going to be around the theme of uh, transportation and energy, and Cisco is going to be opening up some cool data, as is here, and you can look this up on Eventbrite. That's it. That's my spiel. Thank you very much for your time. Right on time. Great pitch. Do you have a question for Alex of Startup Bootcamp? You are looking for mentors, you are looking for startups, you teams. are looking for more corporate partners, but especially good teams. Yeah, on the corporate partner side, we, so I showed all these companies that, that are doing their own programs, and we actually think that's not the smartest thing to do. 
from the startup point of view is to go to only one brand, one company. And so what we do is find areas of interest and then build a coalition of the willing, <laughs> to speak like Bush, um, who are non-competing but interested in an area. So Cisco doesn't compete with Bosch, Bosch doesn't compete with uh, here, but they're all interested in this mobility thing. So if somebody fits the, the rainbow, then yes, we're interested. Would you take in BMW if Mercedes is already in? Not in Berlin. Okay. Bad luck for BMW. <laughs> But we're building a program in San Francisco, and yes, we could, we could talk there. Okay. Another question? Yes, um, I have a question about uh, who invests in the, com in the startups after the 90 days. Is it usually VC firms, or is it the initial founding companies or people like that? So I'd say it's probably a majority of angels, because the, the, the rounds range from 50K all the way to two, three million. So on the low end, it's probably two-thirds angels. We have had VCs make seed investments, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, in the morning, I showed the picture of the VC food chain, and you are right at the beginning, right? You want to be the first uh, investor in the startup, but some startups already have achieved something, and then do you sometimes change your deal, the 15K for 8%? Are you able to change Never. it? Never, Never. no. Um, we are attracting more and more mature startups, some of whom have raised several hundred, and yes, we have to adapt if yeah. maybe there's been evaluation, but we don't, I never call myself an investor. We want the teams to see us as super value-added co-founders for a temporary, yeah. uh, you know, a limited period of time. So an accelerator is a co-founder, remember that. Okay, Thank Alex, you. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. We have him again on stage tomorrow on the panel where we do a deep dive into acceleration. <laughs>